I'm looking at my Crunchyroll laugh for a second. But yeah, I got Crunchyroll Premium now, chat. It's uh, $5.99 here in the UK. You get offline viewing and four different devices can watch at once. They have some decent stuff. They don't have every show. They don't have like every like underrated show. Like, you know, but they have some surprising ones. They have some shows that I didn't expect to see on there. However, it's not amazing, and it's sad that with, like, the closure of uh, Funimation now, it's sad that with the closure of Funimation, there's no, um, there's a lot of shows that were on Funimation, like No Rin, Bento, there's no, like, legal way to watch those shows now, which is kind of really sad, because I would have wanted to get some people into those shows but yeah, also, if you guys heard about the whole Crunchyroll uh, comment section drama, it's really stupid. Apparently, a bunch of people were, like, uh, leaving hate comments on Yaoi anime and Shonen Eye anime saying, we're forced to watch um, this stuff, when, no, you're not. Just, just don't watch it if you don't like it. And because of that, Crunchyroll decided to remove their comment section to uh, protect their viewers. Because, of course, why moderate? Why moderate when you can just, um, delete? Um, uh, they even give us a warning and they just deleted it. And it's, it's a shame because I like the little discourse that people had in the Crunchyroll comment section. But, hey, yeah, a friend of mine, uh, what's it, uh, wanted a Crunchyroll premium. So I just thought I'd get it. And we shared the account. And, uh, yeah... Anime, anime fans do be anime fans. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, Crunchyroll, it's been a pleasant experience using the Crunchyroll app, actually. I've been enjoying using it, definitely. For sure. They don't have every show, obviously, but... It is nice. My first time ever using, like, a premium proper subscription service. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. And... Uh, yeah, it's a shame that, you know, now that I really wish that uh, all of Funimation's library was transferred over to Crunchyroll. Like, all of those shows that were locked to Funimation, I really wish that they were um, moved over to Crunchyroll. It's a real shame. And people's digital libraries as well, when, for anyone who had a Funimation account, their digital library was lost. It was non-transferable over to Crunchyroll. Which is really sad. I'm sure it wouldn't have taken them that much effort, right? To port those shows from Funimation like No Rin or Bento over to um, uh, Crunchyroll. Because now we have to use like pirate sites to find those shows.